Here are 10 things that you need to know about raising chooks in Melbourne. Hello. And they hold together really well. Oh! You <laughs> You're cheeky. I've got Gwendolyn with me today. Hello. And today I am going to tell you all about raising chooks right here in suburban Melbourne. How do you get started? What do you need? How hard is it? Can anyone do it? My friend Jamie is going to tell us all about raising chooks. Let's go. Buying organic eggs, it did not take very long for them to pay themselves back for just their purchase price. It was actually amazing. So how long have you had the chooks for? So I got the chooks um, of November last year. So they were, they were spring chooks. Spring chickens. <laughs> they were spring chickens, <laughs> yeah. So I bought them at points of lay. So that meant that they were young, but they were going to start laying for the first time in about six weeks. And so when I brought them home, um, they weren't laying yet and it took about six weeks and then they just started laying and they've never stopped. <laughs> Let's see if we've got any eggs. These are the laying boxes and got two. Hello. Pretty much get two eggs a day. Uh, winter is sometimes like one every other day. Hi, sweetheart. They are amazing. They're like the yolks are so bright orange and they, they stay together really well. Like if you poach them, you almost don't need to use vinegar in the water because they just like are so fresh that they stay together. And it's really, they re really taste gorgeous. And you don't have to spend money on eggs at the supermarket. Where did you get them from and how much did they cost you to buy? Uh, so I bought my two chooks from Talking Hens on the Mornington Peninsula and they specialize in home chickens and like they sell the actual chickens, but then also supplies and feed. Um, and I think that they were about $30 each at the point of lay. Um, they're cheaper if you buy them as chicks, but then of course you have to raise them for longer before they start laying. Buying organic eggs, it did not take very long for them to pay themselves back for just their purchase price. It was actually amazing. Because when you think about it, a carton of 12 eggs is going to be 10-ish dollars anyway. Yeah. So the, you're talking just under a dollar an egg. So you would have made that back in a, just over a month. Yeah, really quickly. I mean, they still do, there's some expenses involved. Like you have to feed them really good feed if you want good eggs. I have a feeder in the coop. And um, it's a design that I saw on Gardening Australia once. It's very clever. So it's just a bucket and their feed is inside. And it has to be a good quality feed to get good eggs. And then on the bottom, there's a, a hole, quite a large hole with a bolt that swings. And when they peck that swing bolt, then the food comes out in little bits, which is really helpful because then the neighborhood birds can't get as much as they want. It's really, really easy because I just fill it up, make sure they have enough water, and then we can go away for a long weekend. I leave them shut inside the coop, and this is plenty of space for both of them for multiple days without having any stress. Yeah, just makes it really low maintenance. So what do you feed them and how much does that cost? So Red Hen 17 is what I buy in a 20 kilo bag, and I buy that from the Oakley Produce Store, and that will last me a good month. I think it's about $30 a bag. So I give them a little bit of kitchen scraps. It's like their treat. Um, it's usually like apple cores or vegetable peelings. No meat, certainly. And I also don't feed them onions, citrus, or chilies, because that would maybe hurt their little beef. <laughs> um, but I've been told that onions and citrus can actually make the uh, eggs taste a bit funny. Mm. I know. So they get fruit and vegetable peelings. And when I, they uh, get a special treat, it's like sunflower seeds. It's really important to keep their calcium up. So um, I actually crush up the old eggshells. I bake them to make sure they're um, clean and sterile and then crush them up and just give a little sprinkles to the chicks every day. And um, although it sounds a bit strange, they absolutely love it. And it means that their shells of the eggs that they lay are really strong, which can be really important for, for their health as well. Where did you get your chicken coop from? So I got the chicken coop. I was super lucky. I got it from my local Buy Nothing group and it was free which is amazing. Someone had it and he didn't want to use it anymore. So I actually paid someone to deliver it here because it's quite large. And I cleaned it out and I installed some more mesh on it to keep the foxes out and it was ready to go. Speaking of cleaning, what cleaning is required? Not too much. So uh, about once a month, I try and take out all of like the straw and everything and give it just a good refresh. And then every once in a while, I'll empty it out and I'll give it a clean with just water and vinegar 
to kind of kill any bugs and that helps to prevent them from getting things like mites and um, other pests and parasites. You've got um, a couple of little kids. Are chooks child friendly? I think they totally are. My kids can actually be a little bit scared of them. Like they'll be really interested in them and want to feed them, but then when they start pecking um, at the food, the kids will get a little bit scared. And actually when I first got the chooks, I let them roam around the entire garden and they were really good company, but they would leave little presents around. And at the time my son was crawling. So I wasn't super a big fan of that. It's gotten a lot less messy now that they're in their run and uh, have their own space. So tell me about their run. How have you built that? Uh, so it's basically just all along the back of my fence property. I wanted to take advantage of the fencing I already had. And then we used star pickets and drove those into the ground and then just zip tied wire mesh along that to create a fence. I've also put logs and old sleepers down the bottom so that they don't burrow underneath as well. With the exception of the benefit of getting eggs, what are they like as a pet? They're really good fun. Like they um, have personalities and like one of mine is really cheeky and kind of flighty and one is very calm and they just kind of are low maintenance though. Like they're not as interactive with you as say like a dog or a cat. What do you need to protect them from? You've got a cat, does your cat get along with them? Do you know what? My cat is fine with them. I read something about how to make the cat actually scared of the chickens. And so I tried it when I first got the chickens, I took my chook and I held it and I ran at the cat really fast to scare the cat. And she, since then, has never ever bothered them. So they haven't had any issues with that at all. We do worry about foxes. We've had foxes in the past and I've seen them in the run at nighttime. So it's really, really important to shut them in their coop at night and that the coop is really well protected with really strong wire mesh. Otherwise they will like dig in and they'll get through boards and things like that. So that is a bit of a worry. So far we've been really lucky, but I actually have an alarm on my phone at dusk that tells me to lock the chooks in. Um, they go in themselves, I just have to lock the door. Do you need to get a council permit? You don't. In my council, the, I did look up the regulations and you can have up to six chooks, but no roosters. I've actually thought about getting more because especially with the egg production going down, at least in winter time, my family eats a lot of eggs. So I could probably deal with three or maybe even four uh, chooks and the space would be totally fine. But honestly, my breakfast almost every morning is a fresh poached egg um, with wilted spinach on Vegemite toast. So that is so Australian. It's very Australian. <laughs> I've learned how to love Vegemite and uh, yeah, the, the yolk is such a bright beautiful color and the taste is like much richer as well um, but if you're just buying kind of like the cheaper eggs there's really no comparison it's just really wonderful if you like what you've learned here today hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button Whoop, so you don't be stuck <laughs> you hear them talking to each other and every night they perch up on their little perch and I come out and say good night and lock them in it's a nice little ritual <laughs> <laughs>